we're going to install Libre NMS. So we're going to download the OVA files from their website. We're going to choose the sent OS. Uh, this OVA image is compatible for the virtual box. So after downloading this uh, OVA, we're going to try to import it directly from our ESXi. So I'm expecting that uh, if we will import this uh, virtual box image, we will see a uh, unsupported uh, version and it will show that uh, like uh, this is not unsupported. It's a virtual box image. Let's see. So we're going to put the Libre NMS name. Then we're going to sell, click um, select or drag and drop our OBA file then select the destination and put it there okay then we're going to um, just click next then wait for a while then we're going to choose thin provision see showing unsupported hardware family virtual box <coughs> because this image is only for VirtualBox. So what is the solution? The solution is we need to download OBF tools from VMware. It's a free open source. It's a free tool and we can use that one. And we can also delete uh, like uh, the parameters and make it compatible to the uh, ESXi. We're going to Try to download this OBF tools and save it from our machine. Now we're going to install it. Then we're going to, I want to put it in drive uh, E. Okay. Okay. Now after installing, we're going to un unzip the OVA file that we uh, downloaded. Then we're going to um, edit it and put uh, old, okay? Because we're going to create new one later. So we're this time we're going to delete this file, okay? Then after that we're going to edit the parameters of the OBF. We're going to make it compatible to the ESXi, we're going to use Notepad and edit those parameter. Let's find those um, controller. I saw in the internet um, on, on how to edit those one. So we're going to delete this section. This I will mark them, okay. Up to here we're going to delete this one then I have already created the template I got this one from the internet so we're going to paste this to the location of the one that we removed okay then we'll align them After this one, we're going to save the file. Then we're going to use um, OBA tools to convert it again to OBA file. Then we're going to change also the virtual box 2.0 into BMX uh, 07. So I'll put the, I'll erase this one and put on the BMX7 is already there. Okay. BMX7. Okay. Let's, let's save it. Now I'm going to copy this folder, destiny source, and we'll create a destination. 
so we're going to use those folder path um, I prepared the notepad for this one so we can um, just copy and paste this is our uh, destination path and this is our old okay old is our source path okay so we can easily copy and paste so this is the source i already prepared the notepad for this one we'll just modify them so the, the the folder where you install the obf tools okay obf tools point exe and paste it here as a source then we're going to select our file this is our source Okay. okay our source is ready then we'll update our destination this is the destination then we'll paste it here our destination okay then we'll just put the name of our destination file it should be OBA file we'll select the name of this one and we'll change the file extension into OBA okay so our script is ready we'll just copy this one So we can convert our image from VirtualBox to ESXi. Okay, we're good to go. Copy. And we can use the command prompt and paste it from here. Where is your... Okay, now it's running. Then it will convert an OBA file after you finish. Okay. After you finish, we can import now the file now it is ready because it is now ready for ob uh, esxi uh, version select the file click next then default the next finish see it works now so login power on the box it will automatically fire on then just log in use the username and password in the documentation then verify the verify the type IP address it will show you the IP address so okay so th this is our IP address and we can access this one in our um web 10.128.1.168 so now we have now libre nms uh, ready to access let's try to access um, using uh, browser okay let's put the username and password in the documentation enter the username and password let's try to add the device we have uh, we can set up, we can customize our own da dashboard we can add uh, widgets also if we want um, let's 
try to put the core and the IP address and I will post this video because I don't want to show you the SNMP uh, password I use then save okay now um, it's already added of course it's just added it's showing catalyst 3750 Cisco iOS and 12 days of time all you have to do now is wait for a while so that it will reflect all the information the host name, the IP address, the, the hardware the device when it was the, when the device added later it will show the CPU and I'm going to post again this video because I'm going to start adding all the equipments that I have. I will add firewall, I would add ESXi, I would add wireless controller. So if we, I added all my devices, so it will show now here all my equipment I have a Aruba wireless controller it will show you how many clients are connected this is a very powerful tool to, and it's free Let's check the wireless, what we can see here. It will show you number of access point. We have one access point. It will show you number of clients, 12 clients connected. I have also put my domain controller I'm using a Windows Server so we can see the processor of the domain controller it will show later because it just uh, added recently the virtual memory okay and it was uh, rebooted recently 12 hours of time This is this tool is very powerful, and this is my Fortinet firewall to show you everything that you need is here. See, it will show you total number of hosts. I have twelve devices being monitored no warning no down okay and it will show you top five interface within 15 minutes core the 40 net this tool is very powerful tool you can monitor server you can monitor also exchange server you can monitor sql you can monitor application you can monitor your storage if uh, if it's uh, almost full, you know, you, c you can monitor your name it because this software is a very powerful tool. I recommend this one, even in data center, even in enterprise company. This uh, software is, is and it's very stable because it's a Linux box. It's a li it's a sent OS because if it, this is Windows, always down. See, this, these informations are very um, helpful. Single dashboard, you can monitor all your devices. I hope you enjoyed this video.